cup of tea. Comedy for connoisseurs. Oh, hi there. Benedict here from Cup of Team. This is a blind. Um, I just film here because there's good lighting. Please don't bother commenting about the blind because it's not relevant to the video. The video is in fact about Rebecca Black. Rebecca Black is of course famous for Friday, one of the worst songs ever to be produced by anyone ever. Uh, I did a song analysis of this where basically I just looked at the lyrics and laughed at how terrible they were. Um, and because I did this, a lot of people who uh, follow uh, our videos on YouTube have asked me to look at her new song, which is called uh, My Moment. Now, I looked at it and to be honest, there's not a lot that's very hilarious about the video. Um, the, the lyrics, you know, they make sense. There's a story there. The video is pretty ordinary. It's not. It's not Friday. It's not. It's not a car crash like Friday was. It's a pretty normal song. It's not a great song by any means. Um, it's a pretty generic song. It's the kind of song you could probably whip up on Garage Band in about ten minutes. But you know, it's just a song. So in terms of like actual lyrics and stuff, there's not very much funny there. But sort of overwhelmingly, the thing I felt most um, while watching it was that the overall message was just really weird and sort of badly badly thought out. Uh, the, the whole message is sort of that it's Rebecca Black's moment. She's saying like, it's my moment, I'm gonna shine, I'm not gonna let haters get me down, blah blah blah. And I kind of expected her to do a video saying, you know, forget you haters, I'm gonna have a career at some point, you know, I'm rising. But this video seems to just kind of say this is my moment now, as in like, I've already made it. To which I apply no, you haven't, you know? I have nothing against Rebecca Black. I don't know Rebecca Black. I, don't, I believe you can't hate someone that you don't know. Please don't think I just hate Rebecca Black because I don't, I don't even know her. But th this song just seems really, really out of touch with what people were expecting or, or would want to hear because she's saying, look, look at me, I'm a star. And in, and in the video, you see her like reading a newspaper article with a picture of herself. And you kind of just have to think that, well, the headline to that article is probably teen creates awful song which is berated on the internet because the only thing she's ever created is Friday and Friday was awful you know and and you go to her video and it has an overwhelming number of dislikes the new video and um, and to be fair like y you have to ask like is this is this people just hating and to that I would reply a little bit but mainly no because admittedly, this video was going to be disliked before it was even posted, you know, it had like instantly a mega amount of dislikes before before it had even been up for like an hour. And that was mostly from people who were just disliking it before they even watched it, which usually would be wrong. And you get a lot of people in the comments of the video going, stop hating, you know, leave her alone, she's just a 14 year old girl, stop hating on her, stop hating on her, da 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 da. But the thing is, we have to ask, are they hating on her? And I don't think they are. I think they're kind of hating on what she stands for. Because what Rebecca Black effectively stands for is sort of cheating. She, with this song and with Friday, she cheated and now she's paying the price. You know, someone said to her, if you pay me $2,000, I'll make you a star. And she, quite foolishly, took up that offer and then they went and made a music video and they put it on the internet. And this music company thought, you know what, if we put her in a video and if we give her a song, people will buy this because people are stupid and people will just buy anything. The problem is though, People aren't stupid. You know, I'm not stupid, you're not stupid. People aren't stupid enough to just buy anything. And when people dislike Rebecca Black's song, they're not really saying, I hate this random 14 year old girl. I mean, admittedly, probably a few are, but the majority of them aren't saying that. They're just saying, I hate the facts that this girl paid some money, got a music video, which everyone hated, then became infamous. She's not famous, she's infamous because no one liked that song. Then became infamous and is now making money off that infamy and sort of thinks that it's fame. Because it's not fame, it's infamy, you know? And this song she's talking about her moment, it's not her moment at all. She should be ashamed of Friday, you know? I don't mean to be mean, but it's, but I have to be because it's not a good song and no one liked it. And, you know, if she wants to make it into the music industry, she's gonna have to just go away for a while, get a stage name, you know, or change her name, and then rise through the ranks of the music industry like a normal artist. Because usually, if you wanna be a singer, if you wanna be a songwriter, you'll go out there, you'll write a song, you'll sing a song, you know, and you'll sing it for a little while until a record company picks you up, and then you'll have a career. That's how normal people do it. But she thought, no, I'll sort of just cheat the system. And despite the fact I haven't been picked up for my talent, despite the fact I don't really seem to have very much observable talent, I'm just gonna have a, mu a music career. I'm just gonna be a star. And people are going, no, we're not going to put up with that. We're not just going to buy anything the music industry throws at us. Because the music industry these days, I, I hate to sound like some crazy old hippie, but it's kind of true. The music industry does kind of play a game where they go, 
Let's see how bad we can make this and people will still buy it. Let's, let's see how low quality we can make this pop music and people will still buy it. I mean, admittedly, there are some people out there like Lady Gaga and stuff who make good quality pop music, you know, it's solid pop music. But I think the prime example of what I'm talking about is um, probably Kesha. Because Kesha has built an entire singing career on not singing. She just doesn't sing, you know? And you can say, oh, but look, Kesha's awesome, she's a great talent. No, she doesn't sing. I'm sorry, that, that, that doesn't seem right, you know? Because people will look at her and go, I have literally as much talent as her. Why aren't I a singer? When you have a good singer, it should be like, wow, that person is really talented. I respect the fact they have their talent. I want to listen to them. I want to buy their albums. What you shouldn't be saying is, why are they famous? You should never be able to question why they're famous, you know? And, and with all this sort of ability to buy your way through in the music industry and all this stuff, all these people who shouldn't really have all this fame, who shouldn't be respected for their talent, are getting out there. And naturally, people are gonna be angry. I mean, like, take me personally. I will freely admit that I can't sing. You know, I don't really have that kind of musical talent, but I can admit that, you know? And I'm not gonna go out and pay money to try and convince people otherwise. Because people go, oh, being a singer, that seems like a fun life. You know, loads of money, da 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 da. Oh, damn, don't really have any of the talent. Oh, well, I'll just become a star. That's basically what Cash has done. It's basically what a lot of rappers do. A lot of rappers don't even rap. You know, they just kind of go like, yeah, yeah, and just get some random woman to sing the chorus. That happens a lot these days. So, all I can say about my moment, aside from the fact that Rebecca Black, this isn't your moment, is that when you see people disliking it, when you see people going, you know, stop hating, stop hating on this little girl, they're not hating on this little girl, they're hating what she represents. And what she represents is just factory produced crappy pop music being fed to us and people saying no, you know, we're not gonna buy this, we're not gonna put up with this, we're not gonna put up with random people paying money to produce crappy songs which we're then supposed to buy and listen to and respect. You know, it's people saying, frankly, sir, I'm not stupid. I'm sorry that this video became a little bit more of an angry rant than a uh, comedy video, but I just, sometimes I just think there's stuff that needs to be expressed. And you know, I think Rebecca Black should look at this experience of Friday and everything and just go, okay, this has been negative, but maybe how can I better myself? How can I make people stop hating me? And the key is just make good songs and stop using auto-tune. What is it with auto-tune these days? Anyway, if you want to see funnier videos than this, please check out my channel. There's a big red box up here that says Cup of Teams channel that has actual funny videos on it that don't involve direct real people in the real world. They're just like sketches. If you like this video and want stuff of equal entertainment value, you can click the little subscribe button above and you will get a fresh, delicious, piping hot video delivered into your sub box every Sunday. Why does that sound vaguely dirty? I don't know, but you can have a video for free. We usually make sketches on Cup of Team. These song analysis things are sort of more of a anomaly uh, among our things. But if you like sketches or comedy or anything, then you can click up that. And to be honest, if you like this video, give it a like. And to be honest, if you think the music industry should improve and should stop treating us as if we're absolutely stupid retards, give the video a like and we can send a message to them. And to Rebecca Black, you know, get better or get out. Ta-ra.